of the food chain, rockin' with the rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail, murderous assassins, harassment of blackmail, I think I made it in the game, it's a rat tail, never made a black belt, you Yo guys, what is going on? Timpus here and in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about how you can make your YouTube video quality better in Sony Vegas in just a few easy simple steps. Now you guys have been asking me recently how do I edit my videos and how do I make them look better and stuff like that. So I'll be showing you guys how to make them look better by just adding a few little like um, effects to your video quality and stuff like that. Um, so make sure you smash the like button guys, can we hit 60 likes on this video today, it would mean a lot. And I'm pretty sure we've got a 3k um, by the time this video goes up, but if not we'll be very very close. So make sure you hit the subscribe button guys. Guys, share the video comment down below what you want to see in my next video and yeah guys let's get into it so guys the first thing once you've opened it you want to um, get in your video um, so I'll just be doing my you know like how I've got my little intro before I start so basically I'll be adding that in um, from one of my latest videos so right here yes and then basically you have got your intro um, or say if you guys want to do a vlog or some kind of like face cam video I was showing you guys how to make it look better so basically um, you want to delete this one so right click and delete because that's the audio for me I'm not using that because I record my audio, audio separately so guys once you have opened it up you want to click on this thing right here and then I've got it set as a preset um, the bars but I'll be showing you guys how to make it yourself. So basically you want to make sure this is checked and this is unchecked and then you want to click this and it's really easy just drag it down like so and you get this really cool like black bars effect and then it's there for the whole video as long as you do it right at the start. If you do it halfway through then the part before it won't have the black bars so you want to make sure it's done right at the beginning and then guys once you have done that you want to go to brightness and contrast and again, I've got it set as a preset down at the bottom, but uh, you guys can go to default. And then basically, you just want to bring the brightness up a little bit. Um, so something like 48. And then bring up the contrast as well to about, uh, let's say, 100. Um, maybe a bit less. 88. And then you want to go down, scroll down a bit, go to color curves. And then click on default, drag it on. And you want to make a little S shape. Um, just a little less shape, nothing too big. So now, as you can see, there's a big difference to what it was before. Because if I do get rid of these, that's what it looks like at the moment. And then if you bring them on, you can see the difference. And I think if you click this, yeah, if you do click that, you can see the difference. I'll just make it a bit bigger. Um, so that on the right side it's with and on the left side it's without the effects and it does make things look a lot better guys. Um, and then once you've done that, uh, I'll just make it a bit smaller again. Um, so it'll make it a bit smaller and then you want to insert video track or duplicate track and then you've got two of the same one and then all you guys have to do is go down to cookie cutter and then click this one right here. Um, it's kind of like a circle, um, faded, something like that. And then you want to click the cross, and then you want to go down to Gaussian Blur and bring this one on top of that one that you've just done. And make sure, when you bring the Gaussian Blur onto it, you want to make sure it's both set at 0 0.0204, both of them, like so. And then, if you don't like it like it is now, you can also bring down the opacity over here. Um, I'm gonna put it on about 70% so that's about, uh, basically it guys um, what I do like to do before um, I start is go over to transitions and put on 3d blinds and then bring it down a little bit and that basically creates a 3d blinds effect when you first start so that's basically it for the video guys i hope you did enjoy this video on how to make your videos look a lot better make the quality better for your youtube videos so if you did enjoy make sure you smash that like button guys subscribe if you're new share the video with your friends and also guys remember to comment down below what you want to see in my next video and yeah guys i will see you guys later Ain't, ain't, ain't no mercy, ain't, ain't, ain't no mercy